In this video, we're going to learn about terms related to the use of technology. The objective is to identify and use terms related to the use of online technology. This is for grades K through 5. To begin with, let's talk about hardware. Hardware is all of the mechanical and electronic parts of a computer. As you can see in this picture, hardware has many different components. In this picture, you have a system unit, which is your CPU. You have your screen or monitor. You have speakers. You have a microphone, a mouse, keyboard, and another speaker. Those are all hardware. I like to think of hardware as the parts that I can feel and see. Hardware is also all the devices that we use such as iPads and tablets and phones. Those are all things that we can hold and see and so they are classified under hardware. Now let's look at software. Software is programs that are used with a computer to perform different tasks. Some software that you may be familiar with are the iLife Suite, which is software that is um, installed on a Mac operating system, a Macintosh or Apple operating system, and it has different programs that um, are like iMovie, GarageBand, uh, Photo Booth, those types of things where you can perform different tasks and do different things with them on your um, laptop or your um, computer on a desk. Also, Another type of software that you may be familiar with is Oregon Trail, and Oregon Trail is a game format software that's usually on a PC or a Mac um, that you play games with. And then an additional piece of software that you may be familiar with is Microsoft Office, and it has programs called Excel, which is spreadsheets, um, Outlook, which is for email, Word, which is for um, word processing and typing. Uh, and then you have PowerPoint, which is a presentation software. So these are different softwares that you may be familiar with that you use on a, on a computer at home or a computer at school. The next thing we're going to talk about is the World Wide Web. It is an information system on the Internet that allows documents to be connected to other documents and it enables the user to search for information by moving from one document to another. Another word for or representation of the World Wide Web is when you type in an internet address it, you would put www in front of it. www dot and then the address for the document or website that you're trying to um, access. A web browser is a computer program that locates and displays web pages for viewing or browsing. Some of the web browsers that you may have used might be Google Chrome or you might have used Firefox, Internet Explorer, Opera, or we also have Safari. These are some of the more popular web browsers that people surf the internet with on the World Wide Web. A search engine is a software program that searches the database or network, especially the internet, for data, files, or documents containing terms or words that are specified by the user. There are several of these search engines that I like to use in my classroom. One of them is Yahooligans. I also like Gogooligans, as well as Fact Monster, and I also like Quintura Kids. These are all search engines that will allow me to put in a word or phrase and search the internet for information. A key word is a word that is used to classify or organize digital content or to facilitate an online search for information. Keywords are used with search engines and it's a word or a phrase that the user 
will specify so that they can search for specific content on the internet. For instance, in this search engine of Google, we use the keyword wolfhound to look up information on the Irish wolfhound. A URL is an address of documents on the World Wide Web and URL is the abbreviation for Uniform Resource Locator. While looking at a internet screen, you will notice that in the top there will be a field where you can type in the URL for a specific website that you're looking for or if you're on a website the URL for that website will show up in in this window. Now I'm going to go over a few of the extensions. When I talk about an extension, I'm talking about the ending of the URL. So there are different extensions depending on what kind of website it is. As you can see, here we have .com and .com means .com, .biz, and .net all mean that they are commercial or business institutions. You can also see that we have edu and edu websites, websites that end with .edu are educational institutions. Typically they are for colleges or universities. Another URL that we have is org, and org.org is for nonprofit organizations. I'm getting different colors here of um, pens so that you can see. GOV extension, .gov is for government institutions. And the last one is .mil, which is for military institutions or for military websites. So now that you better understand extensions and a URL, you are able to identify the types of organizations that these websites were created for. If you need help with the area of technology or further assistance, you can call or schedule an appointment with the technology coach. The email is listed on the screen. I hope you found this video interesting. I want to thank you for your time and interest in understanding the terms related to technology.